Hey folks, welcome to Tully River Quail. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a wire network that is going to be the support for my roof, my net roof. And I'll take better videos of that. But this is going to be the top edge of the metal wall, metal one inch cage wire wall and is also going to be the bottom edge of the super net that I have for the ceiling. So I got one more piece I'm going to hook a cross member up to that little corner eye bolt there and to this top part here and down to that eye hook there. And then I'm going to roll the roof out in accordion fashion and pull the front down and pull the back back. <laughs> and then whatever parts don't fit, wherever I have extra material, I'm going to cut and I'll sew it on, thread it together with some uh, paracord. And I'll try to create this rhomboid out of a 25 foot square piece of heavy duty snow resistant netting so I'll show you that as I get to it but this will be edited into that video I just wanted to take some step-by-step -step stuff alrighty if you can uh, see how I have the wire hooked I basically just got some eye hooks and then rolled it over held it tight with a pair of vice clamps and I used a little PEX material just to kind of put over top of the extra flashing. I'll tape that down as well. And that just looks nicer. Almost looks electric, so maybe the fox will think it's charged. <laughs> and that's going to be the doorway over there. Going down. All right, got to get back to work. Over and out. Tully River Quail. Stay free. Here we are hooking up the netting for the top of the flyway over top of the airline cabling that I have around here. And this will all be enclosed. The side walls will be with metal one inch wire. PVC coated wire walls up to two and a half feet that will be attached to these logs so nothing can get under them. It's got a little more stretching to do.